Now it doesn't matter what the company name is. The Can Spa just put their own sticker on the Gecko Pack. So what you really want to look at is the pack underneath. What's the name of the pack? So it's an M Spa, it's the Gecko M Spa that's tripping. First, take this door off right here. For this setup here, I see this ozonator right here. So I wanna unplug this first. You just gotta find out the cord. So this is gonna be this bottom one right here. And let's try the breaker again. Still trips. So we have a pump one, pump two, a blower, and an ozonator. Keep that ozonator unplugged. So we're gonna go to the blower next. The last thing you wanna do is unplug the pump one. So we'll unplug the blower. Let's try the breaker again. Try the breaker. Still trips. Keep those two unplugged. Go to the next one, go pump two. Pump two, let's try the breaker. Still trips. Unplug the last one is pump one. Try the breaker again, stays on. So we gotta make sure we turn that off because we gotta figure out what why pump one is like that. Now pump one is looks like it's tripping, but we still gotta diagnose it further. If you kept on going, if the breaker stays on, that's usually the problem. Most of the time it's gonna be a heater element right here. Now if it tripped on pump one, if it, if it still tripped, I would have went to the heater element and I would have disconnected those two leads right here. So when you go turn the breaker on, you gotta make sure that these two leads, these wires right here, are not touching anything. But right now we're gonna go to pump one and we're gonna test over that way. We found pump one and you can see all the crusty stuff. The seal failed, sprayed back into the motor and it looks like it's been like that for a long time. Normally you can save that if it was tripping the breaker and it could be a capacitor. But I can almost guarantee you it's the windings. So you gotta replace this pump. This has gone way past the point that you can salvage that. This is why if you hear, especially when your seal fails, it'll spray back on the bearing and the bearing will be loud. So it's gone past that point. So the seal failed, it went back on the bearing. The bearing would have made a lot of noise and then it's probably all seized up and it's probably in bad shape. Plus it is an old pump. So I'd replace the pump and you should be good to go.